Hey guys, what's going on? I just felt like making a video because I forgot to share with you what happened when I was at the doctor. So, uh, you guys know that I have HS, and it stands for a hydronitis supertiva. In layman's terms, it's boils that reoccur. So, they started when I was in, um, when puberty started. Because it's, it's hormone related, stress, etc. So, another incentive for me doing the surgery, which is losing weight, period, is so they'll go away. Well, not technically go away, but stop reoccurring as much as often as it is right now. When I was lighter, they barely came around. So, it afflicts me under my arms, uh, you know, in some no-no places, you know, private areas. And in other areas, but in general... People can have them anywhere, you know. I've seen, if you Google it, you'll see, usually when you go to Google, you see the worst case of everything. But, so, in a way, I kind of feel fortunate. Mine isn't as bad. And so, I'm supposed to go pick up a pharmacy prescription for it. And so, another option was to de -roof it, which I'm going to Google once I get on my computer or when I'm done with this video on my phone. So the roofing, de roofing is like pretty much you're just make sure I'm not showing the girls anything. De roofing is pretty much you're gonna like get rid of like your underarm skin, like just cut it all off. Ugh. Ooh. And um, <laughs> and well, I don't know if it's the complete underarm skin. I think it's just maybe the area of where the boil is because what it is, it's like just imagine like they kind of start to connect under the skin. So it might look just like one really big boil when it's actually like two. Or when they connect, it becomes like one giant one. So it's connected under the skin. So the explanation is with the de-roofing, it cuts it off so, you know, new skin can grow because at this point it's kind of scarred. So that was also an issue for me wearing, like, my, my arms out because of that. And... You know, it's just like, just been a lot of issues, you know, being so now, you know, I have big arms, so I'm not wearing my arms out. Plus that, it's just like on on things, on top of things, on top of things, you know. Right now, my tooth is hurting. I don't know if it's a cavity or what you call that? <sighs> sensitive teeth. Because right now, before I had sensitive teeth and I was supposed to get some Sensodyne, because I thought it was a cavity, but I don't eat candy like that. And if I do, I'll brush my teeth. I'm not, I'm, I haven't been, like, all the time of brushing my teeth as often as I should. But I do at least do it once a day. Oh, my God. And I had some, some hot cocoa earlier. So it could be that. I don't know. I was eating, so it was just bothering me. So we'll see. Anyway, but I digress. So, besides the de-roofing, oh, and I don't think I gave you guys my weight. This morning, I was 282.6. So, yesterday, I was 283.4. And that's basically it. So, I just wanted to share with you, and I think I'm going to do the de-roofing the because I'll be, it'll give me a chance, I guess, to have, like, fresh skin. And... I think I'd want to do it before surgery, so the thing I was contemplating is, is that it's going to be fresh skin, and I'm going to have to put gauze, and he said it's going to be a month. I'm like, a month to heal? So, I'm not working now, so I would assume, like, right now is the best time to do that, because if I do start working and I have to deal with that, it's going to be, like, a hot mess. So, on Monday morning, she gave me a consult for the doctor. I'm going to make an appointment, and I'm just going to get both. I'm going to actually get both done. At first, I was just thinking, like, maybe one. But i got to do what i got to do, and hopefully, you know, at the same time, I'll get some help from family, you know, in regards to my son. My son is still little, and sometimes he needs to be picked up. So, I don't know. It's just weird because I'm thinking about it now. Like, I have so much appointments, and I usually pick them up to go up and down stairs. So, I don't know. And at the same time, I don't plan on being unemployed forever. And also, it's like, if I'm doing a job, which probably would be retail, I'm going to need, I'm going to need, I have to 
which way I'm going to need to be, you know, feeling all right. So I guess now is the best time, you know, and I'll just have to fight through the pain if necessary, hoping that it won't be that bad. I don't know. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.